In this video, we are going to look at arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the ventral capsule of the hip joint. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of roll glide assessment is to gain information on the reactivity of the joint and, of course, articular problems such as capsular limitations. For this assessment, the patient can comfortably lie on the unaffected side with the hips and knees slightly bent while you stand behind them. The leg is then brought into 90 degrees of flexion and you can hold on to the leg with one hand so that it's supported by the forearm and that you can let it move into external rotation to position the femoral head in the direction of the capsule. The other hand is placed behind the greater trochanter. Then the dorsal roll is induced by performing abduction and the glide is applied with your other hand in ventral and medial direction. To accentuate the cranial portion of the capsule, place the hip below 90 degrees of flexion to put the iliofemoral ligament under tension. Here you can easily support the leg by placing the patient's foot on your thigh. Then again roll by performing abduction and add the glide in ventral, cranial and medial direction. Additionally, and if possible, place the leg in a figure 4 position. Then approach the greater trochanter in a cupping fashion with both hands. From here, you can induce the roll by bending through your knees and then apply the glide by sort of pronating your forearms. To accentuate the caudal portion of the capsule, the patient is again in side-lying position. First and foremost, flex the hip beyond 90 degrees and make sure you can pre-position the hip in internal rotation. This will tension the pubofemoral ligament. From there, induce the roll by performing abduction and add the glide in ventral, caudal and medial direction. Assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range. Then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypomobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention, as the movements that are performed are essentially the same. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques depending on your goals. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that. Okay, you've reached the end of the video and if you like, you can check out more videos on manual therapy in the playlist to my left. Again, check the info icon in the top right corner for the featured videos and also take a look at the links in the video description down below. At last, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will let you know once we release new videos. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.